Thanks for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be showing how to calculate whether a series converges or diverges. Now this is going to be slightly different than the previous video we did where I showed you how to determine if a sequence converges or diverges using Desmos. So you want to be clear about whether you want to tell if a sequence or whether if a, or if a series converges or diverges. And I'm putting a link in the upper left hand corner for that other video where we tell how if a sequence converges or diverges. But the work is going to be kind of similar. So first thing we want to do is we want to start with n. We want to get n as a list of numbers. So 1 comma 2 comma dot 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 100. <clears throat> Next thing, what we want is we want a formula for a of n. Now remember that we're talking about series. So I'm going to use a sigma notation. Now, one thing you have to do is you have to change this from n to k. Why is that? Because we're going to start at 1 and we're going to end at n. And you can't have n up here and then n down here as its own, as the same letter. Because if I did something like 1 over n squared, it won't, it won't compute correctly. Instead, what we want is we want 1 over k squared, like that. So what are we doing? Well, we're adding 1, we're adding 1 plus 1 fourth plus 1 ninth plus 1 sixteenth plus 1 twenty fifth and so on and so on and so on. And we're adding them over and over. And as we do that, we're going to plot them, just like we did in the previous video. So here is our series. Now, I have to adjust my x-axis, just like that. So here I've got these numbers here, and it looks like it is flattening out. Now, sometimes series can be a little bit difficult in determining whether or not they actually co uh, converge to something. Now, the classic example of that is this, this. Here we have 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5. And this is our series. Now it doesn't look like it's flattening out. Now some people make the argument, well, you haven't put in enough points. Okay, well, let's make it 1,000 points. And if I change this number, is it flattening out? No, it's not. It's actually not flattening out at this point. So this series is not going to converge. Because by the time you reach a thousand, a thousand terms, you should be able to see a flattening out if it's going to converge at all, but it's not. So I'm gonna cut this down to a hundred because depending on what device you have, a thousand may be too much computation for your processor chip to handle. I know on my machine, it, it won't show 10,000, but depending on what your machine's capable of doing, it might be less than that. Let's try 1.1 to the K. Let's try this. Here we have 1.1 to the K power. So here I don't see any, I don't see all the points, so this is about 10, add a 0, add another 0, add another 0, add another 0. That is definitely not flattening out. In fact, it's the opposite. It's growing faster and faster and faster. Now, what if I make this negative? What is that going to do? Well, it made it a lot smaller, so I can take this number and cut it down by 0. But something else going on. It's actually down here as well. So this one is not flattening out because it's actually bouncing back and forth positively and negatively. So this one is definitely not converging. Now if I change this to negative 0.9, now we see that yes, this one does indeed converge. Negative 10. And let's 
let's sandwich that. Let's make it a little smaller from one to negative one. Now here, it's going back and forth, kind of like a zipper. But as you go off to the right, notice what's happening. Notice that it is converging. It is getting closer and closer to a single number. It is flattening out. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button. To support the channel, click the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. And remember, the best way to understand something is to do it.